You know, when we start to think about high yielding corn and soybean, the answer to achieving that can't really just be to dump on more N, P, and K. We have to be a lot more mindful in where we're placing our nutrition, you know, really taking advantage of precision placement, and then also balancing that entire system, looking at micronutrients that help the utilization of nitrogen and phosphorus in the plant, and then also focusing on, uh, you know, some biostimulants, enzymes, biologicals that can take better advantage of that organic nutrition that we already have in our soil. That becomes really important for us, especially early season when that crop's beginning to set its yield potential, it's determining kernel rows around on the ear. And uh, you know, a lot of times that nutrition isn't quite mineralized early season from our soils, especially at an early planting date, which is where we really like to take a sharp focus on uh, what are ways we can pair nutrition and biologicals with the planter, either through a liquid application on the planter or something on the seed. So we, at the research farm, we look at a few different avenues for applying nutrition early season with the planter. You know, a lot of our low salt starter fertilizers, especially things like zinc, biologicals, enzymes, sugars, we can apply those directly uh, on the seed in close proximity to the seed uh, with in furrow application. Uh, but if it's, you know, higher volume, higher salt, you know, uh, a, a fertilizer that's not necessarily safe to have within close proximity to the seed, we can move that away into a two by two or a two by zero band uh, where it's still there, where there's a good access for that nodal root system to access um, you know, later into that growing season. Uh, but, you know, not everybody has liquid on their planter and it can be a, you know, timely slow you down at planting and it's really hard on equipment. So, you know, we're always trying to look at new avenues. And one thing that we've had really great success with is delivering micronutrients uh, to the planter box in a talc-based product. You know, when we're thinking about early season nutrition, especially with the starter fertilizer, one of those elements, those micronutrients that are usually, you know, very responsive for us is zinc. Um, you know, zinc is really important for plant growth. It, uh, it, it's involved in the synthesis of auxins, which is that plant growth hormone that signals cell elongation. So, you know, think about when we go through that rapid vegetative growth, auxin is really important for that, which means zinc is really important for that. So early season, we're typically very responsive to zinc, and zinc is one of the most common micronutrient deficiencies, you know, across our corn belt. It's, uh, you know, it's not as soluble under high pH conditions, it's not as available under low organic matter conditions, which is also common when we're planting earlier into cooler soils. And what's really key, you know, for using zinc with your starter fertilizer is trying to balance out that high phosphate level that you're applying. You know, phosphate, high phosphate levels in your soil can bind with zinc and cause that crop to become um, deficient in zinc fairly rapidly. So we always like to balance that phosphorus starter fertilizer with, you know, an EDTA, uh, EDTA fully chelated zinc uh, application at planting. You know, one of those products that we've had really great success with is in our ENZUP lineup, ENZUP Zinc. So it's EDTA zinc with mananase and lipase enzymes. Those enzymes are specifically focused on breaking down organic residues that's going to release organic nutrition, mineralizing that nutrition that's already in our soil, and then also breaking down those root exudates, those sugars that are being secreted through those roots uh, and releasing that energy to both the microbiome and the plant. Another product that we've had really great responses to recently um, is seed flow zinc, ends up seed flow zinc. It's the same zinc and enzymes that we have in our liquid ends up zinc product, except this product can be applied directly to the planter box on the seed uh, because it's part of a talc graphite blend. Um, we've had excellent responses both at the research farm and through third party testing. At the research farm this past year, on top of starter, starter fertilizer alone, we saw a 6.6 .6 bushel response to 9% uh, EDTA zinc. We saw a nine bushel response to liquid ends up zinc and a 12.1 bushel response to that seed float zinc. So when we look at the third party testing, we ran five studies with universities across that corn belt. On average across those studies, we saw a seven bushel response to seed flow zinc and a 12.7 bushel response to ends up zinc. New for the 2024 planting season, we have some products designed specifically for corn and soybean that we developed in partnership with Talc USA. 
Uh, Homeland Corn Complete contains that same technology that we have in seed flow zinc, the zinc and enzymes, but it also packages that with some key micronutrition that's uh, key for corn growth early season, and as well as some biologicals that are uh, impacting both nitrogen fixation from the atmosphere, and then also breaking down um, or releasing some of those uh, uh, immobile nutrients that are in our soils like phosphorus and zinc. For soybean, we have the Homeland Soybean product, which again has a micronutrient pack that's designed specifically for soybean. The key component there is that 10% molybdenum. Molybdenum is really important for nitrogen fixation in soybean. Uh, that nitrogenase enzyme is that enzyme that is converting atmospheric nitrogen into a monocle nitrogen that that crop can utilize. And moly is a cofactor in that enzyme. So soybeans need moly to fix nitrogen for themselves. And then we're also pairing that with Brady rhizobium, which is that bacteria that's gonna infect those roots and, and create those nodules where that nitrogen fixation is gonna occur. A lot of this data and more information can be found in our latest research book, which is published right on the front page of our website, brant.co.